So, are you a bison or are you a cow? I want to explain what that means and why it's important in just a moment. Hey, it's Don Skaggs again with Empowered Inventing TV, where we try to help you help other people by taking your great innovation, the right opportunity, mixing that all up with sound wisdom so you not someone else, no, you can turn them into real things like products and businesses. And those people that you help, why, they say thank you. Please give us the opportunity to continue help, for you to continue helping us by sending you certificates of appreciation called dollar bills. I love it every time I get to say that. So, anyway, I got a really, really strange one for you today, a real strange question that I want you to consider uh, are you a bison or are you a cow? And uh, that might sound like the strangest question that I that you've ever heard me tell, ask on on this broadcast. But there's a great lesson. When I learned about this, I knew I knew this was a great lesson that I had to share with the inventors and entrepreneurs out there. Uh, it, it, it comes from studying, a study actually someone did, on the way bison and cows respond to storms. Now, when storms come blowing in, how cows react to it is probably what you'd expect. So, they sense the storm coming, and it's coming from one particular direction, and they run in the other direction. They're running away, run, run away from the storm. The storm's coming, let's run away. Now the problem is that is that cows can't run very fast. Not for long anyway. The storm catches up with them very quickly and without knowing be any better, the cows continue to try and outrun that storm. But instead, they end up actually running right along with the storm maximizing the amount of pain, time, and frustration they will experience from that storm. Not the real smartest thing to do, right? And, uh, but, you know, we, we tend to do that all the time. We're kind of built to avoid pain. Oh, pain, let's run! Run away from the pain! There's pain over there! Let's run away from it. Now what bisons do, bisons, I think it's bison, what bison do is very, very unique. They actually turn and charge directly into the storm. And by running straight uh, into the storm, they, they, they run through it, therefore minimizing the amount of pain, time, and frustration that they experience from the storm. And, you know, exact same storm. Two ways to deal with it, two completely different outcomes. And what, what, why am I telling all this? Well, you know, the storms come at us all the time. Sometimes they're per personal. Sometimes they're professional storms. Uh, sometimes they're storms with our product or our business. And, uh, you know, relationships, supply chains, tests that fail, customers that reject your product, all, you know, all at once, you, uh, customer rejection, the list goes on and on. Uh, and we don't get to choose what storms are going to hit us most of the time. Unless we do something really stupid on purpose. Uh, but, it, we, but we do get to choose how we react to those storms. And so many times, running from problems, ignoring, you know, going la 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 la, and you know, you stay, I, it's not happening, I'm not listening, it's, but you know, you're, you're avoiding it, basically, and that only prolongs what's, what's going to happen. Uh, I found that charging is uh, the issue when there is an issue isn't pleasant uh, I don't like to do it nobody likes to do that but it's very empowering if you do um, it, it forces us to be responsible it kills procrastination 
and it lessens our stress in the long run. So, you know, if you indulge yourself in not facing the problem, uh, you're, you're, you know, it, it, it lets your situation just re regress and sometimes all the way to en entropy, uh, chaos. In other words, everything's going to start to break down. Oh, we're just going to ignore this problem with our product. Well, guess what? The product will probably go away. All the customers will go away, for sure. So, so my question to you is this. Is, are you acting like a bison or are you acting like cattle? Uh, so uh, if, if you want to be more intentional with your idea, then you want to check out our Empowered Inventing course, Idea to Income. That's at empoweredinventing.com. You can go there today, sign up, and I hope this was helpful for you. I'm Don Skaggs. This is Empowered Inventing TV. Like, subscribe, help us to build our tribe, and I'll look to see you at the next meeting, workshop, maybe one of those online courses, or on the next video.